Hi everybody, my name is Jason. I'm Caden. I'm Jaden. I'm Eli. And we are the Yahoo and the Torah YouTube channel. We are also on Rumble. You can find us on Odyssey. And you can find us at yahooandthetorah.net website where we have a tremendous amount of free resources that are available to download. And if you click on the download section, there is scriptures that you can get that you will not be able to find anywhere else. You'll be able to get books that you'll never be able to find anywhere else. And it's all provided free of charge. Absolutely, because we have been given freely, we are giving out freely as well. Now, sometimes in life, we run across things and situations that we have absolutely no idea about. But they don't have the soul, our soul, at their expense. But there's things in life that we have that are absolutely at the expense of our soul. And we must be very well understood with them. And so this takes us into our reading today, and it begins in 2 Timothy 2. It begins in verse 8. So do not be ashamed of the witness of our Adon, nor of me, his prisoner, but suffer hardship with me for the good news, according to the power of Elohim, who has saved us and called us with a Kodesh calling, not according to our works, but according to his purpose and favor, which was given to us in Mashiach, Yahushua, before times of old but now revealed by the appearing of our Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, who indeed abolished death and brought Kai and incorruptibility to light through the good news, for which I was appointed a proclaimer and an emissary and a teacher of the Gentiles. For this reason, I also suffer these, but I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed and persuaded that he is able to watch over that which I have entrusted to him until that day. Hold the pattern of sound words which you have heard from me, and belief, and love, which are in Mashiach, Yahushua. Watch over the good deposit that was entrusted to you by the Ruach HaKadosh dwelling in us. Okay, today's reading is called What You Don't Know. And I'm sorry for the dogs that bark. That is what they do. They are very uh, noisy critters. Okay, What You Don't Know. If you guys are reading the Bible in a year right now, you guys are nearly over halfway through Genesis right now. Genesis 27 through 28 is what you're reading today in Matthew 8, 18 through 34. And again, for those who are reading the scriptures in, in, through a year, I hope that we've run into you guys and that you guys say that you're actually reading them and that you're finding Baruka out of this as blessings that they are. Okay, for I know whom I have believed, 2 Timothy 1, 12. Do you know... What an aglet from a, from a, do you know an aglet from a tang? Would you recognize duff if you walked on it? It's not essential to know that these terms, that these terms to make it through life successfully. If you didn't know that an aglet is the covering on the end of a shoelace, that a tang is the projecting prong on a tool, or that duff is the decaying matter found on a forest floor, it's not all that important. You could always look it up. We can be glad we don't have to know everything to get by in this world. We can often depend on someone else's knowledge. For instance, I don't know how to fix the brakes on my car, but as long as someone else knows and can fix them, I'm okay. There is knowledge, however, for which we are individually responsible. If we expect to enter the kingdom, I'm talking about knowing the Torah personally. We live in an age of expanding information and a personal relationship with Yahuwah is the only way to live wisely and be prepared to meet his son Yahushua. Paul had this in mind when he said, I know whom I have believed. Do you know the creator of the universe and his Torah? Do you know the one who died for you and can forgive your sins? Unless you know him and the Torah, all other knowledge is insignificant. Eternal life is knowing Yahuwah through Yahushua HaMashiach, his only son. Such knowledge is life's greatest quest. Without it, life has not begun. To know the truth, to know the Torah and Yahuwah, Yahushua is the greatest of all knowledge. All right, gentlemen. Um, there is going to be no excuse. We make the kingdom we are on judgment day. There's going to be no excuse that we don't know the Torah. We might have hurt someone. We had a chance to look up ourselves. We had a chance to go see what we truly believe. Instead of being spoon fed, we would have had the chance to go look it up and see what the Bible really means. And uh, there will be no excuses because there's so much uh, knowledge and everything around us that we should be able to f figure out the answers pretty easily. Yeah, and for people in North America, you know, if you, if, I, 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 don't, I can't relate to anywhere else, but. Um, actually, I can. When we were driving out of North America through other countries, you didn't the the, the little hotels or motels or the little uh, hangouts that you would actually go to 
was nothing like the U.S. In the U.S., in every um, cabinet or every drawer or in, a, in every motel, there's a Gideon Bible. And um, it's a King James Version, and, but it is something that the Gideons have put into every motel. And it's, it's nearly everywhere. And so you're, you don't have much of an excuse in this world unless you are lazy and you don't care what our Creator has to say. And when you care what our Creator has to say, then it becomes very, very clear that your path and your world and the, the world that you progress in changes. Everything changes. Your priorities change. Your ways change. Your life changes. How you act changes. How you will encounter others act. How you pray changes. Everything changes. And so if you are taking the lazy road and you are not looking for the Torah, which are found in Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, you're not going to find that personal relationship with our creator. You can have a pseudo relationship with our creator and be spoon fed what the Christians and what all these religions of the world say that you will find your eternal way. But when you look at scripture, there is no religion that compares anywhere to what religion says. The scriptures are very clear from the front of the book to the end of the book. It is about aligning our lives with obedience uh, to our creator. It is about following the set of guidelines. And they're not real strict, but they are a set of guidelines that we absolutely need to keep. And we need to put them on the frontlets of our eyes. We need to put them on our doorposts. We need to rise up with them and talk about them with our children. We need to go to bed with them. We need to meditate on them. They need to be everything in our life. And if they are not, then we're missing the key parts of life. So again, to know the Torah in Yahushua is the greatest of all knowledge. All right, everyone. Have a good day.